Hello, I'm Closet Sim Racer. Welcome to another video. Today I'm going to do the top five free add ons for R Factor 2. Um, this is only for VR. Uh, most can be used uh, if you have monitors as well. However, I've just concentrating on the VR side of things, as that's what I run. Um, so we'll jump straight into it. Uh, number one on my list, I have Crew Chief. Now, most of you probably already have crew chief um now obviously for vr um you can see better than the most you can look left and right a lot easier than you can on a monitor uh, however crew chief has some other perfectly brilliant ways of helping you in vr uh, i've got another video on this i'll link this above um, but you can use crew chief to pin windows inside your vr headset um, now with some of the other, or one of the other add-ons I mention later, um, that can be done um, through Crew Chief without opening additional stuff. As you can tell, you'll probably open quite a few different things. So obviously with one less thing to open, um, it, it all helps your system. So I'm sure most of you are probably aware of Crew Chief. I'm throwing it on the list. I can't deal without, I use it for every single racing game that I play. Um, so yeah, number one on the list is Crew Chief. Second on the list, I have the Oculus Tray Tool. Now I do have this open somewhere. Not, I've hidden it down here, here we go. There we go. Right, Oculus Tray Tool. Um, now, I use this mainly for um, R Factor 2. Um, you can't set a super sampling rate for the game within the config files. Um, so you've got two ways of doing this. You either do this directly within the Oculus Diagnostics tool, or you can use the Oculus Tray tool. And the reason I use this is if you go to, I'm just doing some off screen here, here we go. If you go into view and edit, you can set yourself profiles. I didn't want to do that. Um, as you can see, I've got a few set here. Now, what you've got is you can set your super sampling rate as per the game. Um, and then your CPU priority, obviously you set that to high. Um, what you can also do down here is you can have audio confirmation when the profile is applied. So, for example, you've got your um, you've got your Oculus Tray all open. You fire up R Factor Two, and you will get an audio cue through the headset or through your headset or through your speakers um, that confirms that the profile that you've set up has been activated um, now obviously I've set quite a few different things in here as well so I use it for other stuff um, but I just find that easier than setting the global within oculus you can only do it for everything whereas this applies per game so this is why I use that I don't use it for iRacing because you can set that directly within iRacing itself but usually for st things within Steam VR. Um, I use the Oculus Tray tool. It's just better um, and, and works fantastic. Um, the other thing to note on this, on the website, which I'll link down below for the download, um, it states that it's only been tested with Windows 10. However, as you've probably noticed, I run Windows 11 and I've not had a single issue with this particular app at all. Um, it's not a problem. It's worked absolutely fine for me. So Oculus Tray Tool works a treat. Super sampling. If you don't know what it is, go to your... Um, if you've never used it before, set up a little R Factor 2. If that said there, says 1, change it to 1.2 or 1.3, retest, and try again. And trust me, you won't be disappointed. 
providing you've got the, the system to run it, but that's a whole nother video. Um, right, so let's get out of that one. Next on the list is Race Labs. Now, quite a few of you have probably heard of Race Labs already. Let me find it. So, Race Labs has, as you can see, iRacing, Formula One, ACC, and it has R Factor 2. So, what I use this for is I use it for when I'm streaming or recording videos or whatnot, so you can see where I am in the race. However, um, when I'm actually racing myself, um, I pin the relative window, this window here, inside my VR headset using Crew Chief. Again, I'll link the video somewhere above or below or whatever at the end, um, so you can see how to do that. Um, as great as R Factor 2 is, the HUD that it provides within is not the best, and it's not the, the greatest of information. Um, now, this relative tells you what position you're in. It tells you how far ahead the person is in front of you, like on, as you can see, like three seconds, and then the one behind you as well. What it'll also do is tell you if that's a lap car or it's for position and or other stuff. Um, obviously, also, you can see that what lap you're on, the race time, how much fuel you've got, just a quick glance. Obviously, there are other things you can see with that, but it's, it's good. Pinned in the headset, it's just a quick glance type thing. Um, this relative is, comes under the free account, so you don't need to pay for it. Um, there are fuel calculator as well, if you want that. Um, that's also under under the free. However, Crew Chief is, is fantastic. It's never really let me down with that. But yeah, highly recommend that if you're in VR. Um, what I use it for is, is, is Oculus based. So if you are on other headsets, apologies, but I've only used an Oculus, so I can only speak from, from Oculus. Um, so that was number three. Number four, you may not have heard of. I will bring it up on my screen. It is within the R Factor 2 workshop. So if we go into workshop, as you can see, there are many free add-ons you can get. If I go into my subscribed, I was looking for this earlier. It's on page four. Here we go. Right. SMG HUD pack. Now this replaces the R Factor 2 HUD with um, with a, a HUD of your choosing. So if you, if you look at the HUD pack, there are many, 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 many you can choose from. Now the ones that we are interested in, when I find it, here we go. I think this is the one I run. This replaces the R Factor 2 HUD and it comes in and around the, the rear view mirror um, within the game. Um, and as you can see, um, you've got like revs here, you've got what gear you're in, pit, DRS, you've got best lap, current, split, delta times, you've got brake temperatures and wear. Um, and then obviously you've got your race state, so how much fuel, weather. It's just, it, you've got it at the top of your screen. It'll tell you all that information and it's just easier um, and, and it's just you've, you've got information at glance um, and that provides it superbly. Um, so I would recommend swapping out the R Factor HUD for the SMG HUD. Um, there are multiple to choose from. I mean, there are other ones and it's slightly slight variations. I like no DRS, but that's like a clearer one. There are many to choose from. So highly recommend doing that. Um, and then that's number four on our list. And then finally, number five on our list is something I have used, but not often. I've used it a few times. Now this is the R Factor 2 settings widget. Um, now what you can do in here, as you can see, you've got all of your R Factor 2 settings. So you can change all of this to your heart's content. 
um, changing the settings, visible vehicles, you know, st stabilization to horizon, your look angle, you've got, yeah, you know, you've got all sorts that you can change. Now what you can do is you can change this before you open the game. Um, as R Factor 2 likes to um, crash a lot, let's pull it that way, when you are messing about with your settings. So, so what you can do here is, is play about with them. And then right down the bottom here, you've got Start R Factor 2. So you can change them directly, fire up the game. I imagine, providing you've got Steam open, it'll, it'll fire up straight away. So that's what you can do sort of here, and that's what it's it's really good for. Um, there are also additional things like headlights you can play with. You can map a key here. You can put headlights on or off. So that's pretty cool. And you can set little timing things as here and all sort of stuff. Um, also, you can play your replays directly. As you can see, I have many, many save replays. Um, so that, and then you've got server, and then that's for... And then it also offers you a benchmark. Not that I've ever really tried it, but if you want to test it, I would imagine it gives you the same scenario every single time. Um, that might be worth doing if you are if you are sorting out your settings. Um, obviously, you want to hit your target frame rate, usually 90 FPS. Um, that's a good way of, of going about that. So that is my top five things or top five add-ons for our facts two in vr um anything that i've missed let me know in the comments if you agree disagree um yeah thanks for watching um i will see you all again soon hopefully when i've got my rig reset up and i can actually race see you all soon